Hey guys, what's up? This is Al from DroidShark.com with an Android app review of Hootsuite for Android. Now this is a Twitter application developed by Hootsuite themselves, which is actually a really nice Twitter client for Android. Now this is actually a Twitter client known for using multiple accounts. They really, really handle it really well. Nice settings, clean interface. So let's go ahead and take a look at the application itself. So taking a look at the app itself, you'll see there's actually an owl inside of a really nice light blue looking square and the application is called Hootsuite. So launching open the app itself, when you jump into it, here you have the home feed and there's my uh, Twitter name which is Android World. Uh, so make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Android World. Regardless of that, right here you got the streams and when you tap on that, it lets you see all the different streams you can look at, which are the home feed, which is your timeline, your mentions, which are your at replies, your received direct messages, and your sent direct messages, messages, your sent actual tweets, and your favorite tweets. And you can edit those. So when I tap on edit, I can actually add more or actually delete some, which is a really cool feature. Go ahead and hit done. This will allow me to post a new tweet. You'll see when I tap on that camera button, I can select an image from gallery or take a new photo. Uh, when I select this link right here, I can schedule for a later tweet, which is a really cool feature. And then when I select this link right here, I can shorten any URLs. You'll see there's a picture of my actual account, and that lets me know that I'm tweeting from that account. There's the character count remaining. It says 140, like any tweet allows you to do. And um, there's the send button for you to actually send out the tweet. You can either hit the back key to cancel it, or just tap on the cancel key. So going into the home feed, uh, as you can see, it refreshes every time you go into it, and there's a nice little refresh key right on top right there and you can just tap on that to actually refresh so I like that a lot and lets you know the last time you refreshed and down here you got those little dots right there and that lets you know where you are so you just can swipe to the left or right to let you know where you're actually going so as you can see I got some follows and there we go you can see the tweets now what I do like about the interface itself is when you actually tap on a tweet so I'll go ahead and go to a, a tweet for example with a lot of usernames you go to the tweet and you have the trending topic and all the usernames and you can select any of the usernames to actually go to their actual account. This is where you get to see their followers, who they're following, how many tweets they've made, and how many favorite tweets. I get to see my relation with them, and then I get to scroll and see all their uh, their last tweet, uh, which is really cool. I can send them an at reply or a direct message. And then right here, up here, I can tap here to go to their tweets. Tap right here to go to their mentions. Tap right here to see who they're following. Let that load up and tap here to see their followers very large amount tap right here to see their favorite tweets and tap right here to see their lists so the user interface of actually seeing a user is really really nice and um, here you got the tweet, you see there's a little star right there that we can tap on to actually favorite the tweet right here we can tap on this little button to actually see the user who made the tweet tap on their picture it takes you to the same exact thing and now uh, to actually reply, there's a reply, there's a retweet, and you can tap the little arrow right here to save the tweet for later, copy the tweet text, copy link to tweet, or open in the web browser, which is very cool. Now when you actually see a picture or anything, you go to it, same exact thing, uh, there's a little link right there. You tap on link, and it brings you into a default built-in web browser, which is a really cool feature as well. Uh, as you can see, unfortunately, there is uh, there is pinch to zoom, but it's, it is pretty fluid, but not as smooth uh, fluid as it is in the default browser. And uh, sometimes it doesn't work every single time, but when it, when you do get it to work, it is quite nice. Uh, you can refresh it, you can view it in the actual web browser, and there are these zoom toggles. Uh, you see long pressing it. See if we can long press it there. Uh, actually, nothing happens, so it's not like the default web browser. You can see from where it was tweeted from, you can select that to go to it, and then of course you can see their tweet. So that's a really cool feature as well. You can scroll through all the tweets. You see scrolling is ridiculously smooth, especially over Wi-Fi. So I'm connected to Wi-Fi, so scrolling is pretty much going to be very nice. And again, I do like the fact that I can just scroll through everything right there. And you see I can scroll this way as well. So again, really, really nice features. Now when you tap menu, this is where you can search your tweets or anyone else's tweets. You can look at people's pro profiles by actually just searching their name, which is another nice feature. Uh, you can look at stats. Uh, you can reset, I can send my saved tweets that I have, or I can jump into some settings. So when I go into settings, as you can see, I can change my notification interval, for example, up to five minutes. Uh, I can set a ringtone or if I want it to vibrate, if I want the application to start up on boot, encrypt connections and send usage data, and then open links in Hootsuite, which is the built-in web browser. So that's pretty cool. 
Jumping back, I can manage different accounts. You see I can add more accounts, which is a really cool feature. It's very good for um, opening accounts. Manage tabs and streams, which I showed you guys earlier. I can tweet the love, so I can just let everyone know that I'm using Hootsuite for Android and loving it, which is a really cool, uh, pretty cool feature actually. I can send them some feedback by just tweeting them. And I can launch the welcome wizard. Uh, pretty much from everywhere I can jump back and post a new tweet, lets me know the Hootsuite version there. And jumping back, that's pretty much it it for the Hootsuite application. As you can see if I go home and I long press the screen, tap on widgets. Uh, unfortunately there is no Hootsuite widget. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this Android app review of Hootsuite by Hootsuite. Um, so some pros of this application are definitely that for multiple account support, this is the best Twitter client out there. I think it does it very, very well. I also like that all your actual tabs are in one spot and you can just swipe between them. I think that's gorgeous and a really nice user interface. It's very clean, very simplistic, but there definitely are some cons to it. Compared to other Twitter clients, there's really not a lot of settings out there and there definitely needs to be quite a lot more. Another big con for me is that there's no widget. I really, really enjoy Android because of its widgets. And with a big Twitter account like this, not even having a widget, that's a pretty big con uh, for me. Some other features I would really like to see in this Twitter client are definitely TwitLonger support, built-in preview images uh, like Tweeka and uh, the actual official Twitter application for Android does have. But other than that, what it does do, it does beautifully, and I think it's a great Twitter client for Android. Thanks for watching. This is Al from DroidChart.com, and I'll see you guys in my next Android app review.